Hey, what's going on guys? This is Rob with AndroidTechie.com and today I'm going to show you a very easy way to get ADB uh, and Fastboot on your computer without having to install the Android SDK or any complicated processes. Uh, before I start, uh, ADB is a great tool to uh, work on your phone if uh, you're pushing files to your Android phone. Um, when I'm a diagnostic, you use a log cat, stuff like that. Uh, it's a great tool for it. Um, many, many uses with ADB. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to install that real quick and run it from your computer. Uh, first thing you need to do is find out what phone you got. Like I have a HTC One right here. So I install the proper drivers from, for HTC One. Uh, you have a Samsung device, Motorola, LG, Sony, whatever it may be. Make sure you get the proper drivers installed first or at least have the drivers uh, to the side. So when you do use your phone in, uh, with ADB, it will ask you first on an Android driver or whatnot and you have it on hand. So you can go ahead and install that. Um, so let's get started. I downloaded an ADB zip we made. Well, I'll have a link under this video so you can get that. Uh, it's right here on my desktop. Uh, what you're going to do is uh, Windows 7 and Windows 8, same process pretty much. Uh, actually, any Windows for that matter. Uh, you're going to go to uh, your folders, go to your, your computer, and go to Drive C. This is where you're going to say Program Files, Windows, and all that stuff. All right. When you have that, go ahead and open the zip up, and you're going to see a folder inside of there. It's called Android. Go ahead and drag that folder to your Drive C and just leave it there. Now if you look inside this folder, there's a bunch of files. There's some EXE files for ADB, there's some uh, other things, there's Fastboot in there, and some other stuff. Um, and close the zip now, put it to the side. Now what you're going to do is you're going to type in CMD and hit enter. So type CMD is for command prompt, hit enter. Then you're going to type CD forward slash um, Android. And there you go, you're in the Android folder now. So now, um, go to the next step here. We are going to plug in the phone and just run a simple command to reboot the phone and whatnot. Now keep in mind, for you to use uh, um, Android ADB commands on your phone, you have to be, you have to have USB debugging turn on. I don't do that in your phone. Using all Android phones is at the very bottom of the settings menu. Uh, developer options. If you don't see developer options, hit the About tab, go to Software Information, and just hit, uh, I think it's a software number for a few times, or one of things. And you hit them for a few times, and they'll bring up um, your, yeah, it's in somewhere in there. Anyway, it'll bring in, it'll tell your, you develop, your developer now, and blah, blah, blah. There's another, there's a guide on how to do that on AndroidTechie.com. Um, so anyway, go to Developer Options. Uh, turn them on and make sure you have USB debugging checked. Okay, so with that checked, you uh, you should be able to go ahead and type in, for example, um, ADB devices. And see, ADB is starting, and it shows my device right there, my HTC One. Now let's try a reboot. Try uh, ADB reboot. And the phone will reboot us up right now. On the enter, see? There it goes. Um, so there's a, there's a few commands you could try, like ADB reboot recovery, reboot bootloader, reboot download mode, depending on what phone you have. Um, there's a bunch of cool features with it. Um, I'll have a list of commands in the article under this video. Um, and basically that's it. That's how you get ADB and Fastboot on your Windows PC without actually installing Google or uh, Android uh, SDK. Very simple, drag and drop, and a few commands and you're, good, you're ready to go. Um, so that's it. If you got any questions, feel free to leave a comment under this video. I'll be more than happy to help you. Uh, if you need drivers for your phone, uh, just use a quick Google search, you know, type in your phone model, you know, Samsung Galaxy S3 drivers, HTC, 1x drivers, whatever you have, and I'm pretty sure you can find the drivers you need for your ADB to work properly. So again, this is Rob with AndroidTechie.com, and thank you for watching the video.